In this question, we're given the graph of a line and asked to determine the slope of the line. The slope of a line is the rate at which the output variable, often the y variable, which can also be called the dependent variable, is changing with respect to the input variable, often the x variable, also called the independent variable. When looking at the graph of the line, the slope tells us how the line is slanted from left to right. Looking at the given line, notice how from left to right, the line goes uphill, and therefore the slope is positive. If the line was going downhill from left to right, the slope would be negative. And there are several formulas that we can use to express the slope. Looking below, the slope is equal to the change in the output divided by the change in the input. And again, if y is used for the output and x is used for the input, we can say the slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x. And when looking at it graphically, we can say the slope is equal to the vertical change divided by the horizontal change. And there are two ways we can find the slope for this question. We can determine the slope by analyzing the line between two points on the line, or we can use the coordinates of two points and use this slope formula. And we'll take a look at both methods. The first step is to find two convenient points on the line, meaning two points we can easily determine the coordinates. For example, this point here, the point where it crosses the vertical axis, which is called the vertical intercept, would have coordinates 0, comma, negative 4. And then let's say this point here, that would have coordinates 20, comma, 10. So again, we'll first determine the slope graphically by determining the vertical change and horizontal change from the point on the left to the point on the right. So if we were to travel from the point on the left to the point on the right, we'd have to first go up from negative 4 to positive 10 on the vertical axis, and therefore the vertical change is positive 14. It's positive 14 because we're going up 14 units. And then from here, we'd have to go right 20 units, and therefore the horizontal change is positive 20. And now we know the slope m, again, equals the vertical change divided by the horizontal change, would be 14 divided by 20, or 14 twentieths. But just like any fraction, we should simplify this as much as possible. There's a common factor of 2 here. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 20 divided by 2 is 10, and therefore the slope is 7 tenths. So this tells us that the output, or y, increases by 7 each time the input, or x, increases by 10. But now let's also show how to find the slope using the slope formula shown here, the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 divided by the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1. This difference gives us the vertical change, and this difference gives us the horizontal change. To keep things organized, let's call these two coordinates x sub 1 comma y sub 1, and these two coordinates x sub 2, comma y sub 2. So using the slope formula, we would have m equals, again, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 would be 10 minus negative 4, divided by the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1, which would be 20 minus 0. So we have 10 minus negative 4 becomes 10 plus 4, 14. 20 minus 0 is 20. We know this simplifies to 7 tenths. So again, this tells us that the output increases by 7 each time the input increases by 10. And going back to the graph one last time, this also tells us if we were to select any point on the line, let's just say this point here, and then go up 7 units and write 10 units, we can find another point on the line. So if we were to go up 7 units, 2, 4, 6, 7, and then write 10 units, 5, 10. Notice how we do find another point on the line. I hope you found this helpful.